Hi everyone, Richard Robbins here helping you build a highly productive business that you love. I want to talk to you today about overcoming overwhelm. Now, think about real estate. It's one of those businesses that, I mean, can take control of you. There's so much going on. I mean, emails coming in, people texting you, people calling you. You got to set up showings, right? You got to stay in touch with clients. You got to generate new leads. You got to deal with your listings. You got to deal with your buyers. You got to be on the computer. There's so much to do. But here's one of the challenges is why is it some people are more productive than others? Well, it's simple. Some people major in majors and some people major major in minors. We all got the same amount of time in the day, right? So it's not the amount of time, it's what we do with it. So I want to show you a cool little formula that we use as an organization with our coaching clients to take away the overwhelm and narrow their focus. So look at this. Let's say your goal, and it doesn't matter what the number is, but let's say your goal is to make $200,000 per year. Now it could be 50, could be 100, could be a million, doesn't matter. My question to you would be, how are you going to achieve that goal? What specific activities are required to hit that goal? Now when I ask that question of most agents, what's their answer? We don't know. Well, I'm going to work hard. You know, I need to prospect. I need to do open houses. Great. But bottom line, in most cases, they don't actually know. So let's start breaking it down a little bit. Now let's say that your average commission is $10,000. That means you have to do how many transactions per year? Well, obviously you've got to do 20 transactions. Great. Then my question is, how are you going to do those? What do you need to do every day, every week, every month to achieve that goal? Now, I'm not talking about 20 sales. I'm talking about what do you need to do to hit the 20 sales? Well, let's keep breaking it down a little farther. Let's say you say, okay, well, I'm about 50% buyers and I'm about 50% sellers. So what we know is that means we've got to have 50 buy sides and we've got or 10 buy sides and we've got to have 10 sell sides. Great. I go, how are you going to do that? Well, then I might look at it and keep breaking it down even further and say, well, based on your past, your history, here's what we know is that we know every time you go out five times with a buyer, somehow, some way, you get a buyer sale, which means over the course of the year, how many times do you put people in your car? You got to put people in your car or show property 50 times over the course of a year, right? But let's break this one down. What about sellers? Well, if you want 10 listings sell, I don't know, maybe you got to take what? 15 listings. Well, to get 15 listings, how many appointments do you have to go on? I don't know. Everybody's efficiency is different, but hey, maybe it's 25. Maybe it's 16. I don't know. But let's say it was 25. That means what you have to do is you have to do two listing appointments every single month. So imagine this. Imagine if you come to work every Monday morning and you think to yourself, what do I need to do this week to achieve this goal? So let's take this overwhelming goal and break it down into, well, I've got to make sure that I'm out with buyers at least once every single week. And if I wasn't out with any last week, I got to get out with two this week. And you look and say, well, guess what? I better set myself one listing appointment this week. So here's what I want to do for you to help you out a little bit. There's a, a called Goal Setting Simplified Worksheet that we use, our coaches use on a regular basis. Now we're going to make this available to you and it's very easy to do, but here's what's going to happen. All you're going to do is you're going to plug in your income goal at the top and then you go down to the efficiency, you put in your average commission, right, percentage of buyers, percentage of sellers, and you just put in all the information and then all of a sudden it's going to tell you exactly how many appointments you need to do every week to hit your goal. Then what you do, if you come to work Monday, we've narrowed your focus. We've narrowed your focus. We've narrowed your focus. And all I want you to do all week long is set that number of appointments. It might be one. It might be two. It might be three, depending on your goal. And then, of course, as your efficiencies get better, so maybe instead of needing 25 appointments to get 15 listings, maybe you only need 20. Maybe you don't need 15 listings to have 10 to sell. Maybe you only need 12, which means the number of appointments you need to set every week starts to drop. And I call that the number of appointments your primary goal. The way I look at it, secondary goal, secondary goal, secondary goal, secondary goal. The appointments is a common denominator that we can manage all real estate professionals by based on their efficiency. So below, if you just click on the link, you can download the goal setting simplified worksheet. If you have any trouble using it, give us a call and we'd be glad to help you out. Remember, it's a beautiful life, everybody. Make it count.